If you're watching this, I'm dead. You don't need that mask. I know it's you, Rachel Ghoul. You allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? Parlotrix will not save Gaza from his reckoning. Not now!
be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. There's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? And it doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? Dick Gotham U. What do we know so far about this professor? 
Kirk Langstrom. Judging by the half-finished file with the code black, Batman was digging into him hardcore. Then I'll pick up where Batman left off. Positive ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Langstrom's dead. Do we know where his office is? Seriously? Crap. Well, our notes had his office on the third floor of Molten Hall. Got it. Third floor balconies open. Don't mind if I do. Body cam recording. Here's his office. Hmm, hardly any police work here. Langstrom must have been killed somewhere else. I should check Langstrom's office a little more first. look fresh. Find anything, Batgirl? So far, nothing here. Our professor is very dead. I'll let you know when I find the crime scene. Good. Well, not good exactly, but at least a lead. The real challenge will be getting out of here without the cops finding me. Good luck. That's a lot of damage. This must be where Langstrom died. The cops cleared out of here way too fast. Langstrom must have been working when he was attacked. Significant blood loss here. Evidence of a struggle, then the attacker pinned him to the wall. They were merciless. Langstrom was dying, but he tried to get to that cabinet instead of the door. What was so important?
hidden door. What secrets were you keeping, Dr. Langstrom? Thermostat would be a clever place to hide a keypad. A microwave. I hope Langstrom wasn't combining burritos with genetic specimens. Langstrom made sure to remember those dates. I should too. A phone number, but that's not a Gotham area code. Could be useful. Perfect. Time to see what Langstrom was so desperate to hide. Langstrom, what on earth were you up to? That man's dead professor had some serious skeletons in his closet. Langstrom's workstation. I should take a closer look. Well, hello there. A hard drive. I need to get this back to Belfry. Then I can figure out your secrets, Langstrom. Hey, on my way back. The cops overlooked a ton of evidence. Weird marks on the walls, and apparently Langstrom had a secret lab. Hopefully this hard drive I found will have more answers. Great. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Great. that someone still cares. I'll take care of this. Shut up, fire alarm! Die, die, die! Quiet. The average temperature... 
something lights on fire. Probably stay out of sight here. Are the fumes getting to you, buddy? <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> you burn now, grass. Smashy, no smashy, smash, 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 smash. <laughs> <laughs> they even doing here? Looking forward to kicking back and decrypting this hard drive. Be there soon. <laughs> 